One of the most ignored things on a roof would be the uh, ventilation. Not only does that help the interior of the house, but also your roofing system. Once the roofing system gets too hot, it actually cooks from the inside out. So what we're going to discuss is ventilation. Here's the code. This is a 2009 IRC code. Uh, as you can see, there's not many lines in it, but it goes into depth pretty well. The uh, Take the square foot of your roof, uh, basically your, just your attic space, your attic square footage, not cubic footage, just square footage. And you want the ventilation to be 1 150th. Okay, that would be uh, maximum you need, and the least amount would be 1 300th. In order to qualify for the 1 300th or the lower amount, 50% uh, but not more than 80% of the ventilation needs to be in the upper portion of the roof that's going to be ventilated. I don't know what that means is either most of it is on the ridge vent or the box vents or the turbines or uh, you know whatever type of ventilation you choose to be on top of your roof. There are numerous uh, factors in deciding this. Uh, you can have box vents, ridge vent, gable vents on each end of the house, and we're going to show you some examples. As you can see the arrows point up, that's the way you want the air to flow. That's a typical ridge vent, typical box vents. Uh, that's a combination you don't want. You don't want boxes and ridges. What happens whenever you put uh, box vents and ridge vents together, it uh, just draws out of the, the boxes and out the top. It never pulls from the bottom, so you don't get any draw on your, on your hot air. So essentially what you're doing is just recirculating the fresh air and you're still leaving the, uh, the stagnant air down by the eaves. That's not what you want. You want to draw fresh air, get the moisture and humidity out of the attic totally. Another option you have are the uh, turbines you see here. They actually rotate, kind of like whirly birds, curate a little draw. Uh, also pulls the air up from the soffits. What you see here is a uh, electric solar exhaust fan. These are pretty self-sufficient. Uh, they're temperature regulated. You pull the uh, uh, the sun keeps them charged and then they come on at a preset temperature and pull the heat out. They're also very effective. Probably the one, one of the most effective uh, ventilations you can get. Other than what you see here are trays. They go up against the bottom side of your decking and they allow the airflow to actually get from the soffits uh, up into the attic so that it can be exhausted. Uh, they keep the insulation from going up against the edge of your decking and sealing it off, uh, which is a very common problem, especially in older houses that have uh, had insulation redone. Here is a solution for some, uh, some of the folks that have houses designed without soffit vents. Some of the older ones also have an issue with that. These allow the airflow to come up from the eaves and uh, allow access to the attics through that method instead of having to have soffit vents. Uh, it's very effective. Uh, we use a lot of. Finally, what we have here are just a it's just a photo of some typical soffit vents uh, go underneath the eaves, allow the air flow in, and uh, help to keep the air attic cool. And main thing is keep the moisture out of it. Uh, attic ventilation is really important. Uh, urge that you check it or have a professional check it. ASAP Contracting will be glad to come out. Uh, every time we do a roof evaluation for a, a re-roof or a new roof, we make sure that these things are correct. Remember, without proper attic ventilation, a manufacturer's warranty is not valid.